हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेकंड सेशन ऑन कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग एंड डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग इन दिस टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन टू ऑटो कैड ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस एंड सम बेसिक कमांड्स ऑफ ऑटो कैड इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सीन what is and why engineering drawing what is language barrier composition of engineering drawing and different types of drawings now let us begin with autocad and its basics autocad word is combination of two words auto and cad where this auto means it's a company name autodesk who has developed this software and cad means computer edit design or computer edit drawing this autocad software is 2d and 3d modeling software which is developed by autodesk company and which is usa based company and it is widely used in the industries for 2d as well as 3d drawing now let us discuss different versions of autocad software AutoCAD software was firstly launched by Autodesk company in December 1982 and it commenced in India in 1988 the first version of AutoCAD was release 1 and after that different versions releases like R2 R3 R4 and so on was launched by this company in 2000 Autodesk launched a versions of AutoCAD like 2000 after that 2001 2002 and so on and today's latest version is autocad 2024 which is launched on 28th march 2023 latest version is easy to use and overcome the difficulties of older version these are the different icons of various autocad versions ranging from autocad release R1 and up to the latest version of AutoCAD 2024 Now let us understand the importance and benefits of AutoCAD software AutoCAD is a software which is used world by by different engineers like civil architecture mechanical and electrical engineers If you see the advantages and benefits of software over manual drawing Software drawing is very easy and accurate saves human effort time and money easily modified the drawing which is drawn by using software you can easily modified transfer and we can draw this with fast a uh, faster things it can generate good presentation plans and many more now what you can do with autocad by using this software you can build building plans you can draw the floor plan factory layouts as shown on the slide the things which make your home comfortable to live like the furniture and all the other articles which are very much essential in the architectural drawing or you can say floor plans of building plans so these elements you can easily draw with the help of autocad software even you can design different 3d models of furniture even of machine parts as shown in the slide another use of this autocad software is in civil construction project for building and developing their plants even in electrical we can use this software for drawing different electrical circuits as shown in the figure now let us learn the graphical user interface of autocad now on the screen you can see the graphical user interface of autocad 2007 
there are different versions but for demonstration i have shown over here the graphical user interface of autocad 2007 after installation of autocad if you open autocad on your desktop this is what you can see on uh, which is shown on the screen there are different toolbars which are shown over here on the top left corner you can see autocad 2007 is written followed by in square bracket drawing one dot dwg so this is what default file name when you open new file in autocad 2007 under this blue strip there is one menu bar having different menus like file edit view and so on below that there are different toolbars which are arranged vertically as well as horizontally called as toolbars like on the left side there is a toolbar called as draw toolbar and on the right side there is a modify toolbar and various other toolbars as shown in the picture and there is a big big white color window or the area that is called as drawing area where wherein we can draw the different drawings at the bottom left corner in the drawing area there is l shaped icon that is called as ucs that is user coordinate system and exactly below that there is a one more white color window called as command window wherein user can type different commands which is used for drawings exactly below that white color window there is a one more tool called as property toolbar wherein different properties which are essential have been mentioned on the toolbar in the picture this is what graphical user interface of autocad 2007 there is a one more slide wherein graphical user interface of autocad 2012 is rated this is what the graphical user interface of autocad 2012 with some different uh, with some uh, changes in the graphical user in interface now similar to the autocad 2007 the toolbars are now combined and they have shown on the ribbons with some changes but basic things are same now let us see the uses of this autocad software for drawing the things let me open this autocad software on the screen This is the typical AutoCAD software 2007. As I said on the previous slide, this is AutoCAD 2007, which is written in upper left corner, followed by drawing one dot DWG in the square bracket. Exactly below that, these are the menus like file, edit, view, insert, format, and so on. Below that, there are some tools or you can say toolbars this is what draw toolbar at left corner you can drag and drop to understand different tools which are mentioned on the toolbar like line command construction line and so many other toolbars this is modify toolbar on the right side having different modify tools on it and at the bottom there is a white color window called as command window wherein you can type the commands now let us discuss 
how to use this AutoCAD 2007 software. Here in the demonstration, I will show you how to create a three size drawing sheet in this AutoCAD 2007 uh, software and how to use the different tools. So, let us begin with creating this A3 size drawing template. So, first of all, you have to go to the file menu, then select the new file from the list and select ACAD ISO in the template window, which is actually used for metric units and then click on the open button. Now, in the command window, if you want to set this limits for this your drawing area, so by limits command L I M I T S limits command you can set the limits. After typing the limits in the command window, it is asking me specify the lower left corner. So here lower left corner will be 0, comma 0, then enter and then type the upper right corner. So, A3 size drawing sheet, its upper right corner will be 420 by 297. That is in landscape mode. So, A3 size will be 420 by 297. So, type here 420, comma 297 and then enter. Now, once you set the drawing limits for your drawing area, next thing is you have to draw the rectangle of same size by using command called as rectangle R E C enter. It will ask you specify first corner point. So, first corner point will be 0 comma 0 enter and then again the same limits like 420 comma 297 enter and now see on screen you can see here a rectangle is drawn. Now, if you want to zoom that rectangle, type the command zoom, z is the shortcut or you can type the full command that is zoom, enter and all, a enter. So, now this rectangle will fit to the screen by zooming it. Now, suppose you want to give the board, this is actually a drawing sheet of A3 size. Now, on the drawing sheet, if you want to make the border by keeping the margin of say suppose 10 mm, so you can draw the border by keeping the margin 10 mm. So, for drawing the border, you can use the command called as offset command, offset enter, offset here I am giving 10 mm and then by selecting the object. So, this is my object. So, I will just click on this object and click inside to offset this. So, this is what the border of the page. Now, for demonstration, I will use some basic command, say for example, line command. So, here on the draw toolbar on the left side, you can see line command. You just click by using mouse or simply you can type in the command window over here. L I N E line or shortcut is L enter. It will ask you the specify first point. So, you, on the screen you can click anywhere and then draw any kind of line here without any barrier. Simply go on pressing the left mouse and you can have a different line segments. Now, point to be discussed here, if you want simply a vertical or simply horizontal line. If you want only horizontal and vertical lines, there is one thing, one property you have to make it on, which is shown over here on the property toolbar called as ortho property. So, you have to press this ortho button on and then only you can see here on the screen, you will be able to draw only vertical and horizontal lines. So, this is the line command, command name is line, shortcut is L, L enter or 
line enter and simply just go on pressing the two points of the line so likewise you can use different commands here for demonstration purpose i have used line command now after completing your drawing if you want to save this file you can click on the file save as and then choose the location where you want to save. say for example i want to save on the desktop so click on this desktop and then change the name of this file say sample dot twg dwg is the extension of the drawing file and then click on the save button this is a drawing file now if you want to convert this drawing file into pdf the simple procedure is you simply press ctrl p shortcut is ctrl p or you can go to this file menu and then go to the plot option over here one pop-up window will appear wherein you have to do some settings so under the printer and plotter option you have to select drawing to pdf converter that is dwg to pdf file converter then you have to select the paper size now if you want to print this drawing that you have drawn on simply an on a4 size so you have to select the a4 from the list iso a4 but while printing whether you are uh, keeping this paper in landscape mode or in portrait mode accordingly you have to select these two options so this first option will be in the landscape mode and this is on portrait mode so select this 297 by 210 if you want to print on the a4 size but if you want to print on the a3 size you have to select iso a3 420 by 297 after that under the plot area you have to select there are certain options over here simply by pressing this arrow downward arrow you can see the different options display extends limits since in the beginning you have set the limits for your drawing area you have to choose the limits option in the list and then you have to keep this option plot scale fit to the paper on it should be on and under the plot offset you have to select the center the plot option on accordingly there will be changes in the preview option then there is a one more button at the lower left uh, lower right corner you have to press this and select the landscape mode on if you want in the landscape orientation now once you click on this landscape mode option the entire drawing will fit to your drawing area that is 420 by 297 if you want to check the preview you can click on the preview button and you can see the preview option now drawing is properly oriented on this landscape area then click right on the screen and go to the plot option your drawing file will now convert it into the pdf file and now you can save this file on the desktop by save button now if you go and see on the desktop we have two different file this is your drawing file and this is your pdf file you can check whether that pdf file is okay or not just double click on this this is what we have done in autocad 2007 and we have converted this drawing file into the pdf file So, with the help of this AutoCAD software, you can draw different technical drawings and in next section, we will discuss about some more commands on draw and modify toolbar. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.